Welcome back to another episode of Dark Cloud. I'm Mar, and today we will continue our way through this dungeon. Oh, hey, golems. These are the, in my opinion, the uh, best enemies in this area. Because, like, they're so slow. You can just defeat them at range. It's so easy. Um, they don't actually give a whole lot of abs, though. Like, they don't give a small amount. They just don't give a whole lot. Yeah, when my weakest character still casually one-shots a lot of things in a dungeon, I think that really says something about how overleveled I am, you know? Hey, like, I'm not I'm not saying that I'm ridiculously overleveled. I'm just saying that this is definitely Like I'm definitely a bit overleveled. That that is certainly true. Part of the reason I'm thinking I won't do uh, any more leveling until after I get the ability to uh, access to those two shops is that's also the point at which I can find the uh, the rest of the weapons that give things in particular the weapon that gives drain so the way special effects in this game work is there's some neutral ones like abs up that don't have an opposite but a lot of the effects have an opposite, like Quench, which uh, just reduces the rate at which your thirst drops, is the opposite of Thirst, which has the effect of uh, increasing the rate at which your uh, thirst meter falls, but fills it by one uh, for every enemy you defeat. Also, what was that invisible wall my attack hit? What? Um, anyway. Uh, so, like, poor and big bucks are opposites, and the way that interacts when you try and fuse something onto a weapon is that what's already there wins. So, like, for example, uh, if the reason I had to put big bucks on everyone first before farming for trial hammers, which gives abs up and poor, is so that way I'll get the abs up, but because I already have big bucks on, the core won't be able to stick to my weapon. It'll cancel out big bucks until I actually do the, uh, the level up, and then it will disappear. That's the way that that interaction works. I'm just gonna build a golem before I cross, you know? Seems like the better choice. Easy. Um, but anyway, so... I've mentioned it before, but Zhao's final weapon has the ability heal on it, and heal is the opposite of drain. So what heal does is it slowly recovers your health. But it's real slow. Like, it's like 1 HP a second, which is great for healing between fights, but during a fight, that's nothing. Um, especially compared to the other option, Drain, which just gives you health back based on how much damage you deal to the enemy. That's definitely much preferable. In almost every situation, especially against bosses later in the game where you're doing significant damage per hit, it's way better to have Drain. Just across the board, it's the better choice. It is significantly more convenient. So, the problem then is that Zhao's final, I think final weapon or the one right before it, uh, it's a weapon called Angel Gear. And it has inherently heal on it. So if you upgrade into it, it will just have heal. And because once something is on the weapon, you can't get it off, uh, you don't really have any way to have Zhao's final weapon uh, without it having heal instead of drain. Now, I have read on the internet, I'm not certain that this actually works, but I've read on the internet that if you already have drain on her weapon, it will cancel out with heal. Sanitarium coffins about drift away in the quicksand. Climb onto the coffin. 
Let's just go off into the distance. Also, that that should totally be a one one way ticket, right? Like that doesn't look like I should be able to to go back out, oh, whatever. Anyway, um, but yeah. So supposedly, if you have drain already on uh, Zhao, it will take out both drain and heal. Also, that's a fire guy. Why am I shooting fire at him? What? What am I doing? He has the same AI as Sam, so as a ranged character, you just get close and stand there and go, hey, you want to dodge back, don't you? And then when they do, you kill them. Hey, a thunder. Cool. Saves me the 300 gilda that buying a thunder would cost. I would prefer a, uh, man. Yeah, bomber heads do not take as much damage from ice, huh? Just die. Thank you. Um, so as I was saying, what having Drain already on it will do, supposedly, is it will take out both Drain and Heal. They will both be completely removed from the weapon. And the Heal will stay away. And so what you do then is you put a Drain on it again. And then it all works. And then you're happy because everything worked the way you wanted it to. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, end of that story. Um, no, just, just die. Also, so, funnily enough, at this point I'm going to start selling attachments, just because there's going to be too many in my inventory. Specifically, what I'm going to be doing is selling attachments I can buy. Um, so anything like Dino Slayer, I can buy that. Um, and any other attachments like that, that I can buy and do not currently need. And the reason for that is really quite simple. If you look at my inventory, I'm at 33 out of 40, and that number's only going to go up. Um, also, Ruby definitely goes on, on him, because he needs the fire. So give some someone need him? Yeah, but I don't care if Xiao needs Mimic because I'm gonna, she's gonna be using that weapon for quite a while. Okay, so just put that on him, get him that sweet fire boost. Okay, back to what I was doing. Also, I'm gonna stop that annoying beeping. Okay, there, there we go. the other one need anyway. Huh? It's gonna be really awkward if I get to the build up and realize that I was building up to the wrong one. I'm pretty sure I know which one is which, but I'm not like certain. Because I'm using a walkthrough that usually puts them in order from top to bottom. So but there's always the chance that this one's in the wrong order or something like that and I'll just have to be sad. Uh, you know, it's always a possibility. I can't guarantee it's not. Alright. Golems are weak against ice, apparently. Does it look like I was doing more damage there than I was before? And hey, look at that. Abs are full. Upgrade. Ooh, another times two. She need any of these gem any of the gems I have whatsoever. All useful to her. Exact same things. Because of course I do. I keep getting 
getting times twos on her. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out if it's really lucky or really unfortunate that I'm getting them. Because I don't have the right gems to put in them, so... Whatever. I'll worry about it when her uh, thing is full. There's a decent chance I get a secret key before then. And therefore get to increase her strength otherwise anyway. Oh hey, it's a Goro only level. Okay, that's fine. You can always tell it's a limited floor because uh, for a specific character, because it will summon only that character uh, from the beginning. And so if you get a character switched on you between screens, then you know what's coming. Now, let's let's not talk about that one. It's just beat the enemy and move on. Got a map. Got a mimic. Got a dead mimic. I'm just sitting here like, oh no, I have to use Goro. Oh no. <laughs> How terrible. I'm really heartbroken about this fact, if you couldn't tell. Uh, okay, so that's a door that needs a key. Which means this other door over here is one that doesn't. And there's the key for that other door, too. Cool. Easy. Okay, let's go over here. And in case you're wondering, the reason there's only... Um, uh, one door that needs a key per... Gosh, darn it. Please. Thank you. There's only one door that needs a key per area. It's a pathing thing. So, if you have two doors that need a key that are both accessible uh, by the player, then you need to... It, it's actually... It's a fascinating thing about things like Zelda dungeons and things like this. This is why some Zelda dungeons have extra keys. Because if you have two, I don't know why I went this way. I should go down here. Because if you have two paths available to you and both require a key to progress, both of them have to either, one of them either has to be optional or both have to have a key in them uh, for you to open the other door with. Or there has to be a second key somewhere outside of these paths that you would find. Point is, you can't trap the player uh, on one of these paths. You have to give them a way to get to the other path, no matter which one they choose, unless one of the paths is optional, or it's uh, both paths lead to the same area kind of deal. Like, you have to do something of that nature. So, I'd just like to point out that that giant curse golem still didn't even take one help off of, off of my axe, and that makes me happy inside. My weapons have come so far. Um, but yeah, so that's why... So, in this game, they just chose not to have to deal with that, right? by making it so that way every floor uh, will ensure that there's only one locked door to begin with. So that way they just don't even have to deal with this problem. They can just pretend it doesn't exist, you know? I don't blame them. It's an annoying problem to have to deal with. Like, it's, it's not any fun to deal with. It's just kind of annoying in there. And you only really have to deal with it if you want having multiple keys to be a core mechanic. Like, have Zelda games are all about locked Zelda dungeons are all about locked doors and keys, and that's, like, that's the crux of most of their dungeons. So, of course, they needed to solve this problem, because it's too big a part of their dungeon design for them not to. Also, I have to say, Big Bucks is just passively giving me a lot of money. 
Like, it's not, it's not any, like, major amount of money at any one time, but man, it's gonna add up. And that's the, the best way to get money. That's the, that's the best kind of money. The kind that adds up to large amounts. Okay, go over here. Also, if you're wondering why I have this habit of beating all enemies even when I clearly don't have to, it's from Dark Cloud 2. Um, because in Dark Cloud 2 you actually get rewards for defeating every enemy in a level. So like, I've played Dark Cloud 2 a lot more than I've played Dark Cloud 1. And so just habitually I will go, oh right, I should be defeating all my enemy, all the enemies. Like that's just second nature to me at this point. It's automatic. Do I have a key? I do. Okay, cool. Then yes, go this way. Whee! Zhao jumps across once again. <laughs> That'd actually be really funny. I, I really hope that, um, so... When I said Zhao jumps across once again, I was, that made me think of, like, some, like, smash tagline for um, a character or something like that. And I was thinking that, like, it'd be really funny if one of the characters that got put in Smash was someone who completely wasn't relevant now anymore. I think that'd be hilarious. Like, just pick someone from, like, a game that... That may that was good in its time, but just hasn't like didn't get any sequels or or something like that. And hasn't gotten a remake, like something something that's was complete that's completely not relevant now. And like a few of the characters they they selected already were like that, right? Like Rob. Rob was not relevant. At least I'd never heard of him before Smash. Um, and. You know, they're, they've, they've done that with other Nintendo characters, but I think it'd be really funny if they they did that with a third-party character, you know? The problem with older third-party characters is a lot of the time the reason that character isn't relevant is because their company went under, which can make who has the rights to a character kind of murky sometimes. Because um, when a company goes under, it's not always neat. If it was, if it was like they got bought out by someone, then yeah, that, that it's pretty easy to see where the rights went. But if they just declared bankruptcy, then that can be a lot harder. Okay, getting lots of fishing bait. It's almost like the game's trying to hint that you should fish here or something. Weird. Who would do that? You know, I think... Oops, wrong character. I went for the, the purple hair instead of the pink hair. Or darker purple hair is this probably more accurate. Mm, actually, no, nah, I'll stick with Jazz being somewhere, something like between pink and red. Not very purple. <sighs> I'm just sad because I didn't get an, a weapon that matters. I still need three more bandit weapons and six trial hammers. So like, boy oh boy, am I really hoping to get weapons that are know meaningful and are helpful or something anything oh boy did we get another scene the music changed I'm listening. You are a warrior. What does a warrior fight for? I made note to fight for Makala, but I failed to save Makala. Makala? Ungaga, is she the one you care for? Makala is my fiance. I loved her. 
Makala is dead? She disappeared with the village. I see you sense why you're so down. Well, let me tell you. I assure you, Makala is alive. Is, is that true? Probably. Oh, look, a shooting star. Lucky Cookie Zucchini. Anyway, um, looks like Oz on most floors, on most dungeons. Floor 9 is the one that I'm heading towards this time. Anyway, um, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.